Thank you for taking the time to watch this short video where we're going to explain our traffic flow procedures for student drop-off and pickup at Lake Travis Middle School starting on August 25th, 2014. As you know, traffic congestion always presents a bit of a challenge the first few days of school. And at Lake Travis Middle School, we have some additional complicating factors. There's the ongoing construction on Bee Creek Road. Because of that construction, we have only uh, access to one of our entrance drives for the first two weeks of school. And Lake Travis Middle School is a new campus, and so we're still adjusting to the way that traffic patterns work with this new location. To help address some of the traffic concerns, I'm providing some information that will help manage the traffic flow the first several weeks of school. Okay, I want to take just a few minutes to look at this map, and we're going to use it to help explain our drop-off and pickup procedures at Lake Travis Middle School. First thing I want us to do is orient ourselves to the map. If you'll look toward the bottom of the screen, I'm drawing a solid black line, which will represent Bee Creek Road. The right-hand side of your screen points in the direction of Rough Hollow, and the left-hand side of your screen is the road headed toward 71. Uh, the other thing I want to make sure you're aware of is because of ongoing uh, road improvement, we will not have access to the drive that enters Lake Travis Middle School on the far right-hand side of your screen. I'm drawing a red X there right now. So what can we do to facilitate student pickup and drop-off drop off those first several weeks of school? I want to talk to you about the plan that we've put in place. And to do that, I'm just going to zoom in on part of the map for a minute, and I want us to talk about coming into the school. As you can see by looking at the map, we have two lanes that enter the building. And what we'll do is on that left-hand entrance lane that we have denoted here with a blue arrow, we're going to have uh, parents who want to drop their students off use this lane to come up and turn left right before you get to the academic houses adjacent to the tennis courts and drop their students off right in this location that I'm highlighting right here. They will then follow the path designated by the blue arrows, enter the exiting traffic, and leave the school grounds. So for folks who happen to have students who uh, are going to be have their early in the day classes here in the uh, academic wings in this area right here, it'd be real easy just to follow this blue path, drop your students off here, they'll walk down this sidewalk, enter the building and the doors that are located right here, and go straight into school. There may be some of you who choose instead to have your students dropped off at the front of the building. Here's how we can accomplish that. And we're going to zoom in and look at our map again a little bit. Black arrows designate the right-hand entrance lane. And I'm circling those black arrows here. It's sort of highlight this on this map. You will follow this path straight past the tennis courts on your left and past the academic houses of the school. And then you will come to the front part of the building you will continue to follow the path outlined by these black arrows and drop your students off at the front of the school. You will then proceed and then enter the exiting traffic lanes. To accomplish this flow is going to require some coordination and we will need uh, probably some additional help. So for the first couple days of school especially, we are going to have some assistance that's been provided to us by Chief Rafford and the Lakeway Police Department. So where I have just drawn this blue X, we're going to have a police officer here helping us to control traffic inside the entrance drive uh, that enters into the campus. And then if you look to the bottom part of the page, where the traffic comes in and out off of Highway 71, we will have an officer located at that intersection helping us control the traffic on Bee Creek Drive. So as you can see, we have a left-hand entrance lane that will come in and drop off on that corner and a right-hand entrance lane that will come in and drop off at the front of the school. We will also have Lakeway Police helping us with this intersection and Lakeway Police helping us with this intersection. So if we follow these entrance patterns and drop-off patterns, we feel like that will help us manage the flow the first day of school. Another issue that will really help us have a successful first day of school is just being aware of and knowing not to park anywhere along this area right here that I'm highlighting and that would be anywhere along the right hand entrance drive. If we park anywhere in this area it's going to impede the flow of traffic for those folks trying to come in on the right hand entrance drive, right hand lane on the entrance drive. 
And so uh, let's not park there so that we can continue to keep park cars moving in and out of the school smoothly and efficiently. Thank you for taking the map, time to look at this map with me and uh, try and gain some understanding for what it is we're going to do with drop off and pick up the first several weeks of school. Um, and we're going to talk a little bit more about what to expect and uh, how we can continue to work together on the next slide. We'll be monitoring the traffic situation the first several days of school and we will make adjustments as needed. We know that the first uh, couple days are particularly congested. Uh, once after school events begin to take place, we typically see that parking um, uh, congestion and traffic congestion sort of naturally decline. But we're going to continue to watch the situation closely. We'll make adjustments as needed. We will communicate those adjustments on, adjustments on the website, email, parent letters, and any of the sort of normal communication forms that you're accustomed to. I want to thank you for your patience and support in advance. Uh, we know that these first couple days of school can be uh, times of excitement, but they can also create a little bit of stress. But we're, but we're really looking forward to starting another stellar year at Lake Travis Middle School, home of the Knights. Once again, I want to tell you I appreciate you for looking at this video, and uh, y'all have a great first day of school.